All right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing my monthly review for this month's issue of The Walking Dead comic book series. This one was released April 6, 2016. Today's issue is 153. It is called Heavy Hangs the Head. And spoiler warning, if you have not read the issue yet, this one's a really, really good one. I think I'm just going to call this Negan Week. This is another uh, Negan type of, uh, you know, highlight issue. There's some awesome parts in here for Negan, so definitely spoiler warning. If I had to score this one, this would be like a 9.7 out of 10. This issue is awesome. So there's all kinds of different things that happen. This is a 24-page issue, a lot of fun. We get to see, of course, the highlight is Negan escaping. So Brandon... A uh, member of the uh, the Rose family that have been all kinds of trouble after the time skip, and I really like uh, what Kirkman has done with them. He kind of introduced them and brought them in in the, uh, the hilltop, and you know, brought them in as kind of antagonists to Maggie. And then, as time has gone on, and a few of them have been killed off, they have actually become you know uh, antagonists and and very important to the overall story and the actions that they do. Uh, of course, freeing Negan, Brandon freeing Negan. In this issue, we see them kind of take off. Negan puts the jacket back on. Which I, I, I love that. And um, he's got some pretty good lines with him and Brandon. He's basically, he basically doesn't like Brandon. He, he doesn't like him. He finds him to be kind of whiny. He's a kid. And, um, you know, Negan just doesn't have much use for him. He's like, okay, you know, I, you've done your part. And now you're asking me to do my part. But you have no buy-in from me that I would do your part. The, the, I, there's no reason for it. So Negan kind of calls him out on his ridiculousness and um, on his idea and his whole strategy, which is, which is flawed. If you give the person everything they want before you get what you want at all, then, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, man, he kind of should have known. So um, they get all the way because they're going to be going to see the Whispers now as uh, Brandon, of course, wants revenge because, um, you know, his, his parents were both killed, uh, one on each side, so to speak. But most recently, Rick had killed his uh, his father. Um, so he's kind of conflicted when he gets to the, uh, the the spikes where they had the heads, uh, where the whispers put the heads of the uh, the other people there, and it's where his his mom uh, his head was put, where she basically died, or I guess her her head was there. So uh, he starts crying and. Uh, <laughs> And Negan tells him not to be such an effing crybaby. He says, here, let me just get it here. <laughs> uh, oh, don't be such a crybaby. The effing world ended. Everyone's mother is dead, you pussy. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, and so he's crying and stuff. And then Negan kind of holds him. It looks like he's going to console him for a second. But, you know, that's not, that's not what Negan does. Then he stabs him right in the heart. Brutal. And he says, that was your plan. And he walks away like a boss, as, as usual. Um, so that's the end of the issue right there. <laughs> that's how it ends up. You see Brandon, he's lying down. He's got his mouth open and everything. Oh, my God. So brutal. So Negan is uh, Negan's the number one villain for The Walking Dead. For sure. I mean... The governor was awesome. He, he did his thing for a while there in the comic book series. And David Morrissey in the TV series was excellent. But um, we're just getting to see him now in the TV series. But definitely in the comic book series, overall, Negan is the biggest um, the biggest villain and Rick's biggest adversary. And I think now he's going to regret leaving him alive. So that's one uh, piece of what happened in, the, in this issue. But there's lots of different pieces of the puzzle as they're coming together here. So he's heading off that way. You have Rick who sends... Aaron and Michonne after him. However, it looks like Negan's kind of already at that uh, that cross point into Whisper's territory. So what is he going to do? What is he going to tell the Whispers? And what is he going to have happen? Would he be interested in, in, in joining them? Or is he just going to have them, you know, attack Rick and the group in that and try to somehow get uh, Lucille back and somehow get the, uh, the Saviors, control the Saviors back? Man, so many good questions for Negan, man. I mean, he's just hes just a lot of fun to read. He's a great villain. hes um, you, you love to hate him for sure. I saw the poll there on Talking Dead where people people were like, love love to hate. They had like a, like a you could vote love to hate or hate to love or something. Or some, love to hate, and then the other one was something else. Like, just, just don't like him, basically. Um, and people voted that they that he's the type of villain that you, you do, you love to hate. Um, and he is. He's just a lot of fun to, to see in the series. So aside from Negan being awesome and killing Brandon, <laughs> doing his usual stuff, I kind of figured he would do that anyway. You know, it was shocking to see, and it was it was it was really really uh, well drawn. Everything by Charlie Adler. It was great. Um, 
and I kind of I kind of figured I kind of expected us to see him kill Brandon at, at that point. So aside from that, Michonne and Aaron going after them. We don't know how far they've got or if they're going to be able to catch them in time. Uh, it seems like, or him, it seems like uh, Negan's probably th- in the clear now. I don't think they're going to be able to get there, but we'll have to see um, if they're going to be able to. Because he's, he's, it seems like he's, he's over half. He's in their territory now. He's pretty much uh, in the clear, it seems like. So we'll see what happens with Michonne and uh, Aaron uh, next issue, next month. Um, and we have the part with the gunshot. He had Eugene, who was talking briefly on the radio. Then there's a gunshot, and he runs out, and uh, you have the uh, guy who shot uh, Marco. Um, so, yeah, so so I, I like this one. This one was good, too, because what it does is, and you see it in Rick's face and his response, you know, and it, it relates back to Heavy Hangs the Head of, uh, you know, of on the cover for Rick, because... When when the guy says that he didn't mean to to shoot Marco, that he just um, he was trying to keep the group safe, and he really thought he was protecting everybody, and that um, he thought he was a whisper, he thought Marco was a whisper who had come in, but he wasn't. Marco was actually just a character from the hilltop that he didn't know. Uh, he really thought he was doing the right thing and protecting the group, and I guess fear got the better of him. So I like when he says that to um, to Rick. Um, so his name is Paul, right? It's, it's Paul. So Paul shot Marco. Rick uh, asked for an explanation. What the hell were you thinking? And he says, uh, I guess I just freaked out. I really, uh, I thought uh, I was keeping us safe. And I love Rick's response to it because he just blanks out and looks at him. And you can tell that Rick's thinking. And then Paul says, Rick, I- I'm really sorry. What's going to happen to me? And Rick just kind of seems like he's kind of thinking. He doesn't know. And, and I really love how that kind of works into Rick's predicament right now. He thinks he's keeping everybody safe. It parallels his situation. He thinks he's keeping everybody safe by setting up military, doing all this stuff, and uh, getting ready for war, possibly getting ready to attack. And then now shit's hit the fan, and uh, Negan's left to tell them, and there could be a, a war which could cause you know many, many casualties on both sides, and uh, they may even possibly lose. And the, the problem with facing a group like the Whispers, if they lose to the Whispers, they the Whispers would probably just kill them all. I don't I don't think Alpha is the type of character that would leave any of them alive if she defeated them. If they went to war and she won, it seems to me like she would just execute them all, which would be br- absolutely brutal. So Rick has a lot of, uh, so he's doing this out of fear, but at the same time, you know, that could, just like the situation with Paul and Morton, could cause uh, damage and more and more trouble than it's uh, than it's worth uh, than possibly just accepting what happened before and not doing anything further. So uh, in addition to that, we also had a couple of other uh, groups as well. We had Dwight who's swinging Lucille around, which is funny, and he even refers to it as a king's scepter, and he wants to change what it means, so to speak. Plus, it also seems pretty useful because you know Lucille is heavy, big, and it's good at uh, you know knocking <laughs> knocking zombie skulls, kind of like Michelle's katana, I suppose, uh, as a close range weapon. It actually has functionality too it's it's you know it's not just um for show it, it, it can go so to speak um so we have that which was a cool scene and we have uh, magnus group where you have kelly and and connie and they are uh considering possibly not sure but maybe leaving the group maybe you know turning on rick and magna uh tells them to uh to keep to to just get rid of those thoughts to get them you know get it out of their mind that rick's group has helped them a lot and they that she doesn't want to screw this up um, so it's hard to see what Kirkman's doing with them. He brought the group in. They had their own cover and everything with Magna. And uh, after the time skip, it kind of brought us into the time skip. But then he hasn't done anything with them afterwards. Um, so we'll see what happens with them. I can't really make any predictions right now on that because they're kind of a clean slate. We don't really know what he's going to do with them. have really no idea. And he hasn't really used them that much so far. They seem like uh, antagonists with what they did with Andrea there. But then they kind of joined both sides together. So there's that. And Maggie heading back to the hilltop with Dante and a whole ton of people. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, the entire issue. What it what it entails is a great issue. I enjoyed it a lot. A lot of fun, especially the stuff with Negan and, and what's going to happen with the Whispers. I wonder how long the Whispers story arc is going to uh, going to last because um, you know it's uh, the, the Walking Dead. It consistently gets bigger and bigger and bigger, right? You know, you have like uh, some in the beginning of the series, you have small battles, things like that. Then you have all that war. Well, if that's all that war with Negan and uh, Negan's group, um, right, with the Saviors, then what would the Whispers be? It'd be like um, 
um, you know, <laughs> I don't know, bigger than all out war, like World War or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not a world war because there's not that many people around, but it would be a huge, huge war. So that's pretty much all I got to say for the issue. I liked it a lot. It was a lot of fun. It was great to see Negan kind of get his freedom again and uh, to him come back into the story as a, a full on uh, antagonist and uh, to be a loose cannon out there. And I can't wait to see what he has planned and what his plan is, because, of course, Brandon's plan, um, he's obviously not going to not going to follow that. He's going to do what he wants to do, because that's who he is. So write your comments below. Let me know what you guys thought about the issue. thought it was a great issue. And if you like this review, please thumb it up below. You can also share and favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this review today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. I'm going to do a, a review for uh, Season 6 as a whole, Walking Dead television series. So heads up for that tomorrow. If you're new and you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this one today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. As always, it's Trev. Same peace. See you guys.